in the vast sky of the Libra constellation, one star stands out among billions. Its name is HD140283, but to scientists, it is Methuselah. For decades, it was nothing more than a distant bright spot of no great importance. But everything changed in the year 2000 when astronomers decided to calculate its age, the result? A simply impossible value, 16 billion years. This meant that Methuselah was older than the universe itself, something that should not be possible. If the Big Bang Theory was correct, how could a star exist before the very creation of time and space? This mystery put Methuselah at the center of one of the biggest controversies in astrophysics. The first clue about its age came from an analysis of its composition. Unlike the Sun and younger stars, Methuselah has very few heavy elements, like iron. This indicates that it was born at a time when these elements were not common in the universe. But how do scientists calculate the age of a star? The main method involves hydrogen consumption stars shine because they perform nuclear fusion, turning hydrogen into helium. The faster this process happens, the younger the star. Methuselah has nearly exhausted all its hydrogen, indicating an extreme age. However, this method is not exact. For a more accurate measurement, astronomers used the Hubble Space Telescope and analyzed its distance and brightness. The more distant a star, the more its light loses intensity. Another intriguing feature is its speed. Methuselah crosses the Milky Way at an incredible 1-3 million kilometers per hour. Such speed is not common for stars like the Sun, which move more stably. This indicates that Methuselah may have formed in a different galaxy and was at some point captured by the gravity of the Milky Way. This hypothesis is reinforced by the fact that its orbit is extremely elongated, unlike stars that were born within our galaxy, but Methuselah's extreme age remained a problem. If it really was older than the universe, two possibilities should be considered. Either scientists were wrong about the star's age, or they were wrong about the age of the universe. To resolve this issue, new measurements were made. With more accurate data and improvements in mathematical models, the age was revised to 1446 billion years. Still a high number, but within the acceptable margin of error, so as not to contradict the age of the universe. Even with this revision, Methuselah remains one of the oldest stars ever identified. But its story doesn't end here. Throughout its existence, this star has seen the universe transform. When it was born, the first galaxies were still forming, planets like Earth did not even exist. For billions of years, Methuselah wandered through the cosmos, passing through events that shaped the universe as we know it. At some point in the future, its journey will come to an end. When it consumes the remaining fuel still left, Methuselah will become a white dwarf, a small core of extremely dense matter. Unlike massive stars that explode as supernovas, Methuselah will simply become colder and dimmer. This process will take trillions of years. Despite all available technology, Methuselah remains a puzzle. Its past raises questions about how the first stars formed and what was the real timeline of the universe. For astronomers, it is a window to the cosmic past. Every detail about its composition and movement can reveal secrets about the early moments of the universe. The most fascinating thing? Despite its immense distance, Methuselah can be observed from Earth with an amateur telescope. A simple look at this star is a direct look into the dawn of time, a connection with the beginnings of the universe, and a reminder that despite all our knowledge, there are still mysteries that challenge human understanding. Astronomers had a problem. The star Methuselah seemed older than the universe itself. To solve this puzzle, they needed more accurate measurements. Between 2003 and 2011, the Hubble Space Telescope was used to collect new data. This time, the calculations would have to be exact. One of the keys to figuring out a star's age is its chemical composition. In the case of Methuselah, one detail caught the eye, the near absence of iron. Young stars, like the Sun, contain large amounts of heavy elements formed over billions of years by supernova explosions. Methuselah, on the other hand, has extremely low iron levels, indicating that it was born at a time when these elements were still rare in the universe, but this was not enough to determine its age. Scientists needed another indicator. That's when they analyzed the amount of oxygen present in the star. At the beginning of the universe, oxygen was virtually non-existent. It only emerged after the first generations of stars lived and died, spreading new elements throughout space. If Methuselah was really 16 billion years old, the presence of oxygen would be minimal. But that's not what astronomers found. 
the star contained a relatively high amount of this element, suggesting that perhaps it wasn't as old as it seemed. With these new data, the calculations were redone. The star's age was adjusted to 14 to 46 billion years. Later, a new analysis reduced that number to 14, 27 billion. It still seemed incompatible with the age of the universe, but now the difference was smaller. Finally, in 2021, a more precise estimate came up with an even smaller number, about 12 billion years. The mystery seemed solved. Methuselah continued to be one of the oldest stars ever recorded, but now its age did not conflict directly with the universe. However, the investigation did not stop there. As astronomers tried to understand Methuselah, another question arose. What if the error was not in the star's age, but in the age of the universe itself? For decades, scientists have calculated the age of the cosmos based on its expansion rate. The principle is simple. If the universe is expanding, just measure this speed and trace back in time to the point of origin, the Big Bang. For many years, the expansion of the universe was measured at 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec a value that led to an age of 13, 8 billion years. But new measurements brought unexpected results. Some calculations pointed to an expansion rate of up to 82.4 kilometers, which would mean that the universe is not 13, 8 billion years old, but only 11.4 billion. If this is true, the problem of Methuselah comes back into existence. If the star is 12 billion years old and the universe is only 11.4 billion, the contradiction persists. But why this difference in calculations? The main suspect is dark energy. This mysterious force acts against gravity, accelerating the expansion of the universe. The problem is that no one knows exactly how it works. If dark energy is not constant but variable, this can directly affect estimates of the universe's age. What seems certain is that there is still something that scientists do not fully understand. Be it the age of Methuselah or the age of the universe, the numbers do not fit perfectly, but that's how science advances. Every new piece of data, every new discovery, opens up new questions and leads to answers that can change everything we thought we knew. Most scientists agree that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. The problem is that for a long time, Methuselah seemed to be even older. Today, it is believed that the initial calculations were wrong because of the technological limitations of the time. But this does not change the fact that Methuselah remains one of the oldest stars ever discovered. It probably was born even before the Milky Way existed. This means that when it emerged, our galaxy was still forming, gathering gas and dust to create the billions of stars we know today. Methuselah might have formed in a primitive galaxy and was then captured by the gravity of the Milky Way. This hypothesis explains its unusual movement through space, much faster than the typical stars of our galaxy. Today, Methuselah is at a stage known as subgent. This means it has already burned most of its hydrogen and is slowly transforming. One day, this will be the fate of our own sun. In five billion years, it will also enter the subgiant phase, growing and becoming a red giant before contracting again. But what will happen to Methuselah in the future? Its final fate is to become a white dwarf, an extremely dense and hot core left after its outer layers have been expelled. This process can take billions of years, but it doesn't end there. Over time, the white dwarf will continue to cool until, after trillions of years, it will turn into a black dwarf. A black dwarf is an invisible stellar body, devoid of light and heat. But there's a catch. The universe is not old enough for any white dwarf to have completely cooled. In other words, black dwarfs do not yet exist. This means that Methuselah can survive for such a long time that we cannot even measure it. To give us an idea, the current universe is only 13.8 billion years old. The lifespan of a white dwarf can exceed 10 trillion years. Methuselah, despite all its age, is still only at the beginning of its cosmic journey. This leads us to an astounding question. If the star is already so old and will still live for trillions of years, what does this tell us about time and the evolution of the universe? If today we have difficulty calculating the age of Methuselah, what will be discovered in the future when we have even more powerful telescopes? And most fascinating of all, Methuselah can be seen from Earth. If you have a pair of binoculars and a clear sky, you can observe it with your own eyes. You will be looking directly at one of the oldest objects in the universe, a star that existed before the formation of the Milky Way, a living fragment of cosmic history shining in the night sky.